Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Welcome to our feed for today, inshallah. Um, I wish to start uh, by saying a few words, inshallah, with regards to energy healing. Um, there is a lot of uh, misunderstanding and uh, people not trusting the fact that is it Islamic or not. So inshallah, with this brief video, what I wish to do is uh, to start highlighting possibly some aspects of energy healing and how is it that it is natural and that it can actually be of use to us um, and also maybe put to rest some uh, of the doubts and suspicions and concerns of people. So inshallah what we'd like to do is touch upon inshallah um, what is energy healing. One of the principal things that we need to understand is that energy healing is part of a package of who we are as human beings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created creation and if you break down to a molecular and a subatomic level of what we are made up of, then we will come to know that we are all made up of energy. This is our basic form. And subhanAllah, one of the things that we need to understand is if we are to break up our human body into its component parts, uh, one of the most uh, dominant uh, structure that's within us, apart from our bones and our flesh, is the amount of water that we are made up of. With water, subhanAllah, our body holds about 72.4% of our volume is made up of water. If you were to break water down, you get two hydrogen atoms with an oxygen atom. You break down the hydrogen, you get a nucleus, you get an electron around it, you break the electron down, and subhanAllah, you keep going on and on and on. And when you break every particle down to its subatomic level, we end up with a wave of energy. So we, subhanAllah, all of creation, all of creation, I'll put that in, because everything was made from Allah's light. The nur was created of the Prophet ﷺ from that nur. It was uh, separated into four parts and then heaven, hell, and everything was created. So this way, intrinsically, we are all interconnected at that energetic level. Now, subhanAllah, with this as well, what we can also learn is um, when it comes to uh, health and well-being, our energy levels need to be consistent. And whenever our energy flow in our body is not consistent, we end up becoming ill. Because the energy flow in our body, which is there to sustain ourselves, is actually put uh, off, off balance. So what we as energy healers try to do is it's a simple process of breathing. And that's all it is. Because people think that, well, how can you heal people? And this is all from shaitan and it's not in the Quran and it's not in the Sunnah. Please understand, if it is not in the Quran and the Sunnah, then also when you make that claim, come and tell me and show me the claim that the Quran and the Sunnah says that energy healing is also not permitted. We are very open. Uh, we have a lot of ulama and mashayikh on board. And alhamdulillah, everyone that, that uh, has seen the practice that we do, Mashallah, they're all on board with us. So if you have got any objections with regards to his energy healing halal or not, then inshallah, please, in a respectful manner, come and ask the question. More than happy to accommodate you to answer your questions until inshallah, your heart finds contentment. One of the other things that we also need to look at, subhanallah, is that with regards to energy healing, we are not the healers. We are not the healers. Why? Because healing only comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are simply facilitators in the process. We facilitate the process. If Allah wills, that person will get well. And alhamdulillah, when you turn to something that is extremely basic, such as just breathing, and subhanallah, when people start to breathe in the right way, if you look at ourselves today in this day and age, we, the way we breathe, subhanallah, is not the real breath. It's more like panting. Like we, we're very shallow breath and it's like, <sighs> and this subhanAllah increases the stress levels in our body. It disturbs the flow of energy within our body. So what we want to try and do inshallah, and whenever you know, people learn anything about uh, the healing technique that I teach, that they are taught how to breathe properly. And within a week or two of actually learning how to breathe properly, your immune system becomes uh, strengthened significantly. Your body and, uh, and everything else within it begins to heal naturally and this is the amazing thing that if given the right conditions your body will heal why because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed a program within it that if all the conditions are met with regards to your diet with regards to the exercise with regards to the nutrition you get then the body will ideally heal itself 
and now and again with regards to severe trauma or you know accidents or whatever else it may be then yes we need extra intervention and alhamdulillah this is what tends to happen um, with regards to our healing again we just coming back to the whole point that our bodies are able to heal and we leave the shifa to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wishes that we become well and the healing is going to happen at that point in time alhamdulillah so on our part, we are there as facilitators. We stand in between Allah's, uh, Allah's decree and our clients. We give the energy that's required. And then, alhamdulillah, we uh, get uh, to that point where if the healing is written for that person, then they will be healed. So, inshallah, we leave that there for now. And uh, if you have any further questions, we're going to start bringing these topics up in the following parts, inshallah. And uh, if anyone has got any issues, then please, inshallah, respectfully put your uh, questions forward and inshallah we will address them jazakumullah khair and that inshallah we leave it there for now jazakallah assalamu alaikum